joining me once again in another exciting tutorial of physics. This is your tutor, the science guru, Mr. Mubiana. We're in April, week one of April. What are we looking at? Come with me as we learn. So guys, today we're looking at uh, a very interesting topic. We're looking at an, an interesting topic. We're looking at uh, electromagnetic electromagnetic waves, okay? Electromagnetic waves, we say that, we say electro, electromagnetic, magnetic wave. Now, we say, what are these waves? We can say that these are waves, are waves, that can display display both both magnetic magnetic and electrical properties so i want you to take note of this these waves they display both magnetic and electrical properties now these waves guys they are made up of special characteristics so we can say properties what are some of the properties of these waves? Property number one, that these, these are transverse waves. One, they are transverse. What, what are transverse, transverse waves? We know that a transverse wave, we can say a transverse, a transverse wave is, is one whose individual individual particles individual particles are perpendicular is the perpendicular perpendicular to the to the direction to the direction of the wave okay so then number two that these waves they travel in a vacuum so they travel in a vacuum they travel in a vacuum okay then number three we can say that these waves they've got the same speed okay they have a velocity in some other books are going to tell you speed a velocity of uh, 3 times 10 to the power negative 9 okay this is the velocity of this wave now we can say since its velocity is going to be meters per second something like that yeah yeah, now that we have looked at uh, the properties of these waves, we can look at uh, the order of arrangement of these waves. So these waves, they are organized in two forms. We've got one, the order of reducing wavelength, and two, the order of what? Increasing wavelength. So we're going to look at the forms of these waves. So now, if this is my spectrum, I said this is the spectrum there. I have this spectrum. I walk in and I'm trying to know these waves in the order of, I say order of increasing, increasing wavelength, wavelength. Now, in the order of increasing wavelength, these waves, we can summarize them to be Ramivoxi. Okay, let's see if we get it right. Radio wave, microwave, infra, okay, ultraviolet, X-ray, and gamma. What else uh, are we missing? We're missing the B. It's Rami Voxi. I'm missing the I'm missing the visible light. Rami 
of C. Rami of C. Okay, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, X ray. So we can summarize them to be this way Rami of C. So now, this RA represents the radio wave. Okay, this represents the radio wave. It's important to know how the spectrum moves. And this M represents microwave. Micro, microwave. And this I represents the infra, infra wave. Okay, then this V represents the visible light. The visible light. It's important to know how these how these are arranged. Then this U represents the ultraviolet. So once you know this order, you know that, uh, you see this order, it's the order of what? Increasing wavelength. I'm going to explain this. Then, the X represents the X, the X-ray, okay? Then, the Y represents the gamma wave. This represents the gamma, the gamma wave. I'm okay? So how many are they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, the electromagnetic spectrum is completed. So now, take note of this. In this order, the order of increasing wavelength, I want you to take note of this. In this order, the gamma ray, it is the most, the most powerful ray, or it is the most dangerous uh, electromagnetic wave, according to this order. Now, these waves, again, they can be organized in the order of what? Reducing wavelength. We can say that order of reducing wavelength. We say order of reducing, reducing wave, wavelength. Are okay? In the exam sometimes, they are going to give you this table and they tell you to say, fill in the table. So you have to know the order that you have been given and the word you can use. So if you organize them in the order of uh, reducing wavelength, we can say, summarize these words to be, so this is Rami, Rami Voxi, then we can summarize this word to be Zuvla, okay, represented by Y, X, U, V, I, M, R, a. Okay, so that is our zoom bra. So we can start. The Y will represent the gamma, gamma ray. This represents the gamma, gamma ray. And this represents the X, the X ray. And this will, will represent the ultraviolet. Yeah, ultraviolet. You need to know this. This is simple, guys. I trust you. Then the V will represent the visible light. Visible light. Then the I will represent the infra. Infrared. See that? Then the M will represent the micro, the micro, the micro, the microwave, and the 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 R M represents the radio. You have known the electromagnetic spectrum through simple terms, Rami Voxi and Zumbla. If you know that, check. 
in the exam, whenever they give you a question and you are, you are taught to fill in the electromagnetic spectrum, look at the order that you have been given. Check first, is it organized in the order of increasing wavelength or it's organized in the order of what? Reducing wavelength. Now, upon knowing those two things, come up with a word that I've given you. If it's increasing wavelength, you say Rami Voxi. If it's reducing wavelength, you say what? Zoom, zoom blah, just like that. Then you'll be done and good to go in the exam. Now, it is also important for you to know the uses of these waves and how they affect the users, the source, and the, and the effect to the environment or to us as human beings. I want you to take, this will be part of your research, the sources of uh, the X, X ray, gamma ray, ultraviolet, all these waves. I want you to know the sources. Then, what, what are they used for? What, how can you use them in the, our day to day life? And how do they affect us if that they tend to be harmful to us? Yeah, remember this has been your tutor, the science guru. Take care.